Hey guys, Lisa Kiki here. Let's talk about Ashby's Evil Dead. Oh my god, it's so good! For episode one, it's a really good episode one. It's a good way to start the series because you don't. I think Army of Dark, Ashby's, Ashby's Evil Dead, has a bit of a caveat where it comes to episode one because this episode one is a sequel to a movie. So you don't need to, re you don't need to introduce Ash Williams again because you already have Ash Williams and you have the girl from. The, the guy from episode the, the fourth movie, but that's I don't care about that one. It's kind of bad, but like here, Ash Williams again. And like, Bruce Campbell's a really great actor as it is. Him in Army of Darkness and Evil Dead. Him and Xena. I didn't watch Burn Notice, but I heard that's a good film series. But he's a good actor, so he can still play Ash Williams well. And what I what I really what I liked about this from the first episode scene, not counting the gear up scene where he is kind of gearing up to go out on a date for the night because he's you know. He's still that older kind of playboy kind of flanch of his guy. You know, he's poorer. But, you know, what do you want to do now? Like, you could cut out the sex scene in the first episode one. It's so good. Because the actors in this series are great. And I'll get back to this in a second. Because I still got out the scene. So the, act, the act, so the actors are, again, really great. Because, you know, they try to get a good film. And then the, the mistress, the cougar lady who doesn't have a name because, you know, she's just a, a girl who's going to fuck for the night. Whatever, right? And this next scene, while wow, removable, still good. And like, and then they skip to them, you know, getting high using Necronomicon. And they're like, well, not now using Necronomicon. They're reading passage of Necronomicon as a poetry because they're high as shit. This is a great way to reintroduce the Necronomicon because, you know, you can't have an evil devil without the Necronomicon. Though there's, you can use the 2013-14 movie where it's like, oh, that already happened, but, and that is a bit of a can of worms I'll talk about in a separate video, I guess, whatever. And, like, the Necronomicon would be reintroduced, and then, like, Ash Williams later on, like, it's great, because it's great, you know? And then, like, she's dead-eyed now, but not really, but then it skips to two cops. I believe her, what, the girl's name is, like, Bridget, and the guy is John, but he looks a lot like John Cena, by the way. God, I was pointing out there. And, like, they're doing a, a, a domestic violence case or whatever, and it's like, oh, the Necronomicon's in there. <laughs> the Deadites are in there. And the Deadites kind of, like, wreck the shit. Well, not her shit. She lives... She has a... She, like, it's, it's really dramatic build up for her, because she's not... She's a really serious character. And, like, having that build-up where it's, like... And it has a really great payoff where she's... You know, they fight the, the, the Deadite... The knight kills her, her 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 partner. Partner becomes a dead eye because this is how this works. I works, I guess. I don't remember. And then like, <coughs> and then like the dead eye kind of you know the cop. He says, "Oh, don't kill me. I need you. I need you. You know, partner is. You know, I need you to die." And then she shoots him. And then it's like, "Oh my God, it's so good. This is such a great build up. She's a great actress. He's a great actor. The scene builds up so well." And it's so good, especially the, you know for later in the episode. It's so good, and to find out that it's just it builds up so well, and the build up for that scene is so well. Then it changes that Ash where he's about to leave town, so he goes to Smart. And I have a question about this part: Is Ash going to hell a common fact? Like you can just go to hell, and it's universe. I guess it's a horror movie. You can, but like. Is Ash going to hell like a common fact? Like, oh yeah, it's Ash Williams, he went to hell. It's like, that doesn't sound crazy to you? And like, his friend Pablo, it's his name's Pablo, right? I don't want to sound racist, but I think his name's Pablo. But like, Pablo kind of like, you know, just to get his check, he fails. And Pablo's like, you know, you know, I have a new friend, and then this, this hot chick named Kelly, and you know, bang, and you know, he tries to do a hit on her. And then she, like, fucking beats him down. It's funny, you know, it shouldn't be funny, but the violence is never really funny, it's hard to do, but it's so well! <clears throat> uh, did he write a book, by the way? Or whatever. And then, like, later on, he goes, you know, he goes, oh, I, you know, I went to hell, and then he goes, you know, my, my uncle was a shaman in Venezuela, was it? Whatever. It's somewhere in some Spanish country. And my father was a shaman, and he said that one day the dead, the dead will come back to life, and then you will, and some guy will stop him. You are that some guy. He's like, I'm not that some guy. Then he leaves, and then he fights a dead eye, and then Pablo saves him, and then more dead eyes cut the wrecking shit, and then it's kind of good because then like we find out like 
a couple more people are dead knights, and I save them before they like Ash, and Ash is like, oh, I'm not, I'm not this anymore. I'm not that god. It's not my life. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here and sell this book. But then, then that she finds out that the other Deadite that he's friends with kind of comes to attack him, and then he saves Kelly, and then he has to fight the Deadite. Then the Deadite he starts wrecking his shit until Pablo gets in the chainsaw, and he, he moves, moves his wooden hand and puts on the chainsaw arm. And the chainsaw arm is like, so good! He saved Kelly, and then it's, the episode ends, but it's so good! It's so good! Watch it! I thought I'd link it before, I'll link it again. It's just so good. Comparing it to other things would be a bad thing, because... On his own, it's just so good. The acting's great. The mo like, the setting is like, great. S smart, kind of like Kmart, obviously. It's still so good though. I, please watch it. I'll see you for episode two of this because this is so good.